What's up, everyone? Welcome back. All right, anyway. <laughs> so Canada leads Belarus 5-1. to one. Shifting gears back in their own end. Back near the blue line to Crosby. The Canadians carrying it on in neutral ice. Chip to Crosby. The stick can break up a play and it just did. Belarus with control through center ice. Gains the blue line. Shoots one. Block that one. A whistle and a rest. The shot's delivered quickly, but he smothers the bottom of the net so well, gets his legs out to make the stop. Just under five minutes have been played. The Canadians very comfortable at five to one. Canada's got it. Fires. Deflected off the blocker. Trying to go to Kostitsin. He's in on an onside play. And possession has changed. Brilliant move on that pass. Team Canada's in complete control of this game because of their ability to force turnovers. And the pickup. Moving it to Giroud. Snapping a pass to Petrangelo. Nicely done with the interception. That plays offside, and so back to center ice for the face. So, yeah, time continues to wind down here as Canada comes closer to claiming their victory. Very unsurprisingly. I mean, honestly, though, at least if nothing else, again, Belarus still technically was not shut out. They did still put in a goal, so... They got that going for him. Heads to the front. Scooped up by Perry. And now it's directed to Giroud. Let's it go. Got a piece of it. At the front of the net. He scores. And he puts it in. All right. So Canada now leads Belarus 6 to 1. <laughs> Man, Belarus is getting absolutely fucked, which is exactly what I expected, but even still. Team Canada's goal has taken them to an even larger lead on a night that they have had the offense going. Third period of play. Gets in. What will he do? Turn the shot on now. Close. He was trying to be a little bit too fine there. That's why he missed the net. Hand eye coordination beats that pass again. To Perry. Perry's two tallies have been more than enough. They got a huge lead in this game. Gathered in by Getzlaff. Onside. <laughs> Trying the probe up the wing. Pointed to Doughty. Carried toward the neutral zone. Belarus in possession as they go through the neutral zone. Thrown in. Skilled play by P.K. Subban. Directing that one to Bergeron. And he gains the zone. With a great work with the pad. And so icing is whistled, and back it will come to the other end for yet one more face-off in this contest. 
can't ask much more from your goaltender than this. That's an excellent wrist shot that he's able to deny. Under three minutes remaining here in the period. Team Canada's game plan has worked perfectly. Boy, they couldn't have dreamed they'd get this many, though. Belarus carrying it up the wing. So yeah, with two minutes left, I highly doubt Belarus is going to score five fucking goals. He puts another one in there. Making it a 7 to 1 game. Oh, that shot was heavy and dangerous. Good thing it didn't hit anybody. The speed of this is too much for the goalie. He's in position. He just can't catch up to it. All right, so Belarus puts another one in. Okay. Now they just need to score five more goals in the next 23 seconds. <laughs> All right. So again, I mean, at least Belarus can say that they weren't completely shut out, just mostly shut out. I mean, they still did put two in, so I mean, that's something. Although they allowed, they allowed seven to go in on them, so... So, as predicted, Canada wins. They win 7-2 to two over Belarus. Alright, well guys, that'll do it for that one, so stay tuned for the next game. Coming up next, and until then, peace out.